Hello, good morning, good afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Uh, this video is going out to all schools across Bedfordshire. So hello to wherever you are based. Uh, my name is Stuart. I work in the sustainable transport team at Bedford Borough Council. Some of you may have met me in your schools. I've done doctor bikes, scooter training, liking walks, that kind of thing. And it's also my colleague, this Dave Lannis as well. So we may have been to your school at some point. If we haven't, maybe we will at some point in the near future. Okay, so you can probably guess what we're talking about today in this assembly, right in front of you. Yes, it's it's Clean Air Day on the 16th of June. So you may be watching it on that day or somewhere around that day. So it's really about raising awareness, making you all think about Clean Air Day. Okay, and we, this, this, this assembly is gonna teach you a little bit more about it. But it's really important to remember, it's not just about one day, it's about every day of the year. It's being aware of, 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 of air quality every day of the year. So hopefully this will kind of get you in the mood and you learn a little bit and you can pass that information on. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by showing you a short video just to get you in the mood, just to show you, just to show you the kind of the scale of, of, of our air pollution. Just bear with me a second, here we are. The air that surrounds us is precious, essential for all life, yet we take it for granted. Our dependence on fossil fuels for heat, power and transport means 9 out of 10 people all over the world breathe toxic air every day. Our air spreads disease and causes respiratory illnesses, leading to millions of deaths that could be prevented, and forcing the living world that shares our airspace to suffer too. But clean, healthy air for everyone is within our reach. This decade, let's choose to make clean, green transport accessible to everyone. Let's choose to heat our homes and power our communities sustainably. To make renewable energy accessible and affordable for all, wherever we may live. To nurture the natural systems and green spaces that help us clean our air we can create a world in which we never have to worry about the air our children breathe. We will award the Earthshot Prize to the most outstanding efforts to meet this challenge. To those who create jobs in green transport and clean energy. To the global businesses that move from polluting the air to cleaning it. To the communities who put people first helping us to heat our homes, travel to work, and feed our families without polluting the world around us. We can, together, clean our air. The Earthshot Prize, a decade of action to repair our planet. Okay, so just a note for teachers here. Uh, throughout the video, I'll be some, at some point saying, teachers, please pause it here so you can stop and have a talk, a group discussion about, about each part of the assembly. So the idea is I'm talking and you're, you're talking about different things, getting a bit of discussion going. Uh, so yeah, on, on, that, on that video, have, have a quick talk about it, see what you think. What, 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 how, did you make it, how did it make you feel? I think it was really kind of two parts. The first part was, was quite hard hitting. It, it kind of made, made you realise that, you know, nine out of 10 people in the world live somewhere where air quality is really, really bad and it affects them, affects them a lot. Their families, we're lucky in Bedford, our air quality isn't that bad, but we want to make sure it doesn't get any worse. As, as Bedford gets bigger, as more people move here, we just kind of be, be, be aware of that. So it's important with, with passing this information on to, on to people, like, people like you. And the second part is a lot, it's a lot more positive. 
it's, it's about what we can do as as people as individuals it's really easy to with environments being oh, i can't do anything it's it's, it's too big a problem but you sh yes you can every individual can do do something to make a difference so we'll, we'll, we'll be talking about that a bit more later on okay so everyone take a deep breath in and out so how many breaths do you think we take every day teacher might pause it here have a chat we take around about twenty thousand breaths per day which is a big number so it's really important the air we breathe in is is good air is clean air if we were breathing in air every day which was bad it's going to really affect our bodies affect our lungs and affect how we operate so air quality is so so important to us so we're going to start with a little game very, very simple i'm going to show you some images and you're even going to put your thumb up if you think this this way is good for air quality or not making it worse if you think it's in the middle you can do this and if you think it's bad put your thumbs down so up for good medium here down if you think it's bad nice and simple okay the first one so dead is dead is that's that's medium and that's your second one okay the first one is a balance bike so teach you might want to pause it here and have a chat with your class first one is going to be a thumbs up so by by using a balance bike to get to school that is going to have no impact on air quality it's good it's going to be good there's no there's no impact at all okay next one here so here we've got two ways of getting to school on the left we've got the car and on the right we've got walking so this is called park and stride this is really really useful if you if you live quite a long way from the school you live a few miles away it's too far to walk every day what you could do is you could you could drive part of the way and you could walk the last part so it's a really really good idea if if, if you want to get some exercise in but you, you can't go all the way so it's called park and stride it's much much better than parking right by the school so i would say this one is in the middle so it's, it's not all great the second part is really really good okay. next one is a bus so this is public transport teacher you might want to pause it in have a think okay i would say this one is in the middle because it's lots of people on one one mode of transport not all separately it does give off some some fumes some emissions but it's not as bad as everyone going in their individual cars Next one is going to be the train. So again, teacher, if you want to pause it here. So again, this is public transport. Again, you can get lots of people on a train. So this would be somewhere in the middle, I would suggest. Next one is going to be the car. So pause it here. Yes, cars are getting cleaner and greener, but there's still too many cars on the road, congesting lots of people individually going to school and it's often short distances and lots of cars do give off lots of fumes out the back okay nitrogen oxide carbon monoxide which turns into carbon dioxide quickly which is which is the reason why we've got a lot of climate change developing okay so transport cars are one of the worst emitters for for dangerous poisonous gases into the atmosphere but cars is definitely a thumbs down skateboard That'll be a thumbs up. Who knows who this character is? Any ideas? This chap's called Scooter, the Muppets. So just a little test there, and there's your Scooter. So teaching you, I want to pause it here. Yep, yeah, yeah, a Scooter is good for the environment. It has no impact at all, so that's a thumbs up. Next one, we have our bicycle, my favorite way of getting around. It's quick, it's cheap. It's fun so cycling is definitely a big thumbs up okay, brilliant right okay so all the ones which were good for the environment or had no impact were all involved exercise just want to briefly talk about exercise okay so exercise has so many benefits i'm sure you're kind of aware of them it's always nice to be reminded so who can tell me which is the most important muscle in your body teach you might want to pause it here Yes, so those of you who thought it was heart, that's absolutely right. Your heart is your most important 
muscle in your body. Your heart pumps when you when you're exercising, your, your heart pumps blood around your body. And the more you use it, the stronger it gets. You can pump more blood more efficiently around your body, which is really, really important. Okay, so the more you use your heart, the stronger it will get. Also, as well, exercise is really, really good for your brain, really good for your mood. So if you're feeling down sometimes, you're going to school, I'm not feeling, don't feel like going today, exercise can really give you a boost, make you feel better about yourself. So it's really, really important. Also, as well, if some of you do sport, I'm sure you do, football, running around, dance, gymnastics, hockey, all those sports, Exercise is really good for your leg strength, particularly cycling, can make your legs stronger, which is really, really important for sport. Also, as well, it's really good for your concentration and your listening skills. So exercise before school has been proven to make a big difference to how well you perform in tests. So it's really, really important if you can get some exercise in before school, walking and cycling, easy way. Because lots of your day you're spent sitting down, you're laying down in bed, you're sitting down having your lunch, you're sitting down watching TV, you're sitting down in lessons. So all the time you spend walking around, exercising, it's really important to do as much as you can. Good, okay. Right, okay, so this says, turn your key, be idle free. So anyone know what idling is? We did a big campaign about this, some of you did some posters on it. The teacher might want to pause here just to check, check, their, uh, check their recall on this. The idling is when you're in your car, but you're not moving, but like the engine's still on. So you sit in the car, the engine's running over. It's really, really important if you can to make sure you tell your mum and dad whoever's in your car driving to turn the engine off when they're waiting for something or somebody. Okay, because that those fumes, they go, they go inside the car and can really, really affect the air quality inside the car. Okay, so really trying to remember that one. Idling is really, really bad. If you're going to drive somewhere and you're stopping for a few moments, just turn your engine off. It saves on fuel as well. So it's, it's kind of a no, no brainer, really. Cool. Okay. So, teacher pause it here. So, a house. Let's think about a house. What kind of emissions could a house give off? Have a quick chat about this one. So, in your house, you've got things like candles, you've got barbecues, uh, wood burners, and even like, a lot of houses heat by gas, gas central heating, which at the moment we know is really, really expensive. So, if you can use your gas heating a little bit less often. So when it's cold, rather than, rather than putting the heating up, do some star jumps. Get your mum dad doing some star jumps, doing some exercise, moving around. You don't always need to whack your heating up. And if you've got a wood burning stove, they are great. They're lovely and most lovely and cozy, but try and use it just as like a, as a kind of a special one off rather than using it all the time. Okay, so if you can pass that knowledge on to your mum and dad, that'd be really, really useful. And that gives, that really helps with uh, pollution air quality as well. Nice, well done. Okay, funny one here. This picture is hopefully you're laughing now. So this is a cow, and cows give when when cows cows fart. Yes, in a picture, they give off a gas called methane. Okay, the picture is a little bit exaggerated. It's showing a how a barn on fire, but methane from cows gives off a lot of emissions into the atmosphere, and they're one of the really biggest pollutants. So my point really here is about what you eat. Your diet is really really important. I'm sure a lot of you like burgers and you like meat. So we're not saying you need to stop eating completely, but if you can cut down on it, try and have it a little bit less often. So rather than having meat three or four times a week, try and cut down to once or twice. That will really help. And beef is the biggest one. That's the one which gives giving the most problems. So if you can cut down on beef, that's really, really, really good. Okay. The biz here is a city somewhere somewhere in China. And if you look, you can, you can hardly see anything. That's actually kind of nitrous oxides in the atmosphere. It's kind of ready really brown color and if you live there the smell will be really really bad and a lot of people wear masks it's such a strong smell pollution is really really bad there so we want to make sure Bedford doesn't get like that so it's really really important when you, this video you act on some of the things you see okay so what can we do this is the most important part what can we do as an individual so what i'm going to do i'm going to give every single person in the school uh, a pledge card which you can also give to your mum and dad as well so you're going to think of one thing, just one thing you can do differently. Okay, it's called a pledge. It's something you're going to you're going to write in the in the in the in the uh, in the blue cloud, and you're going to put it somewhere so you're going to remind yourself. So it could be one. Some things we've talked about could be one thing. Could be okay. Next time I go to my granny's house, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cycle there. I'm gonna walk half halfway rather than driving there. It doesn't always need to be about something you do at school. It could be at the weekends as well. Another thing could be, I mean, remind my mum and dad to make sure they turn the engine off next time they're waiting outside the school. 
or it could be something like I said before, maybe I can say I don't want so much meat. So I'm gonna ask mum and dad to just have a little bit less meat uh, more often, not eat so much meat. So you can think of your own one. It could be, I'm gonna to talk to my friends about the environment. I'm gonna to talk to my, my mum and dad about, about clean air. I'm gonna do some research on it. But you're gonna make one pledge and you're gonna make sure you stick to it. So I'm putting writing it down and forgetting about it. You've got to stick to it and, and remember it. If everybody does that together, that's how we get change. It's all about doing things together. So remember, it's you're just one person, but if everyone does it, it makes a big impact. Okay. That is about it. So thank you for listening and good luck with your pledges. Uh, some of you may have met the air care bear. He's a good friend of mine. He's, his job is to make sure the air is, is clean outside schools. So if you've not met him yet, he, hopefully he'll come around to your school one day and you can, you can meet him and give him a high five. Uh, thank you for listening and good luck and enjoy Clean Air Day.